guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Felicia and this is LG TV. I haven't really just uploaded, well, I haven't uploaded a video all month, but this is gonna be my nod to Black History Month and also to fashion. Her Juneteenth collection is a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. It got like the little fist up here. It has like the African, um, the African colors of the flag as the, um, the colors in the t-shirt and then of course on the back it has the beauty and brains logo um so i ordered this from her a while ago um on uh, when she had her juneteenth collection come out and it's been in my closet for a while so i decided to do this thrift the transformation video because i ordered a size 2x i don't wear 2x but i wanted to kind of like you know just kind of refashion this shirt, shirt into something that i would norm that i would wear um maybe dress it up with some jeans or something like that so okay guys so i folded the t-shirt in half i strained it out i'm folded it in half only because i'm trying to see if i cut here right under the collar here will it be the same will i have the same amount left for this to be like the back portion of course turned around and then for this black lives matter to be on the front of the shirt so i'm cutting lines Okay guys, so I have this cut out and now what I'm going to do is cut this across to where like this would be a separate piece and this is a separate piece. So I'm going to open this up. To where it's out like this and I'm gonna cut straight across like that let me just make sure I'm gonna just use my chalk for this Okay, here goes nothing. Okay guys, so right here, this is going to be the peplum part of the shirt. I pinned all three panels together, right sides together, and now I'm about to go to the sewing machine and sew 
the side seams together and then um as you can see here i'm pinning the last side seam and then after i've gone to the sewing machine to sew it i will be attaching this part to the bodice part of the black lives matter uh logo Okay guys, so here we're at our next step. I have attached the bottom of the peplum, well the peplum to the bodice. And as you can see, I also put a gathering stitch in there to gather it up so it will fit nicely in there. And I have pinned it to kind of like, so everything can stay in place, side seam stay together. Cause I did put three panels. So I lined up the back seam with the back of the bodice and the side seams with the side seams and so um right here the other piece of fabric that i'm holding up that is just an additional piece of fabric that i'm possibly going to make straps out of and at this point i have used almost 50 percent of the t-shirt um already and so i pinned it all the way around and now i'm getting ready to head to the sewing machine as you can see here and as I sew, I'm gonna pull out each pin so I won't sew over the pins. And here I'm just showing you guys my pinning. And then I'm about to get ready to put on the sewing machine and sew. Okay guys, so I got my elastic at the top of the shirt here and I could leave it like this and keep it strapless, I mean keep it strapless, but I am going to do straps. So I cut four straps out and I'm going to do two of them crisscross and then the other one over the shoulder. So we're going to sew these up and then finish doing the elastic and we have to hem it and dress it up. 